I ate an unpitted cherry by chewing around the seed and then spitting it out. A bird's technique differs. He has only his beak to work with, and if he uses it like chopsticks to tear the cherry apart, he'll have a gooey mess with the pit still clinging to it. Yet despite the difficulty of getting the meat off a cherry, the birds strip our tree every year in just four or five days. They accomplish it so quickly, partly because they seldom bother picking a cherry apart. Yeah, you saw what you think you did. These juvenile robins suck a cherry so far back into their mouth that my gag reflex kicks in. And yet they never need the Heimlich maneuver. The trickiest part looks like it's getting the cherry to the back of the mouth. Once it's there, he has six extra air sacs on his lungs for holding back up oxygen so that he can walk or fly with an object stuck up against his windpipe and function very well, thank you. And unlike us, he needn't fear a gag reflex because he owns a supersized esophagus. He can swallow that red bowling ball in one easy gulp. And if he has to take the pit in the bargain, that's okay. It comes out the other end. That's how nature plants cherry trees. So, one puzzle about birds eating cherries is now explained, but there's another minor mystery. Our cherries are sour. Nothing like what you bring home in a cellophane bag. But those robins especially go after them like they were bonbons. The sourness doesn't bother them because songbirds only have about 50 taste buds to a human's 9,000. And they have little sense of smell either. The issue for them isn't taste, it's filling their bellies. For them, maybe all food tastes about like wet concrete.